I'm Bobby Ryan for FCDallas.com, here to preview FC Dallas and Real Salt Lake on Saturday night at the Rio Tinto in Sandy, Utah. Here's a look at the Subaru keys to the game. The last time out for Real Salt Lake, it was a wild 4th of July home draw, 3-3 against the New England Revolution. Jason Christ lined his team up in a 4-4-2 formation. It's a diamond midfield for Real Salt Lake. Nat Borchers picked up a red card in the third minute. Ned Grabovoy started in the center of midfield. And the 17-year-old Luis Gill partnered up top with Alvaro Sabarillo. For FC Dallas, it was a thrilling 2-0 home victory against the Columbus Crew. Shellis Heinemann lined his team up in a 4-5-1 formation. Kevin Hartman got his league-leading ninth shutout of 2011. And Breck Shea and Jackson continued their torrid pace, both finding the back of the net in the victory. The first key to the game is to create width. When you look at the Real Salt Lake midfield, their players are very compact from side to side. What that can do sometimes is isolate the outside fullbacks in 1v1 situations. In this clip, you'll see the New England Revolution with a man advantage after that red card to Nat Borchers. They've done well to get wide isolation. It's unbalanced the Real Salt Lake midfield. Chris Tierney finds Benny Failhaber, who plays Darius Barnes in behind the RSL backline. And in the end, the shot is blocked from Pat Phelan, but it's a good attacking sequence from the Revolution that was created from good wide play. We talked to FC Dallas midfielder Breck Shea about creating width. Yeah, I think defensively we have to be in because they love playing in the middle of the field. And then as soon as we win the ball, we have to, me and Jackson have to get wide and use our speed and width. The second key to the game is good team shape. Real Salt Lake is at their best when their midfield is really interchanging positions. In this clip, look at the position of Andy Williams, who's in behind that first line of defense for the New England Revolution. The pass from Ned Grabovoy draws both Phelan and A.J. Soares for the Revolution out of position. The team shape for the New England Revolution is unbalanced as Kevin Alston has had to tuck inside. Fabian Espindola for RSL is in behind that Revolution backline. Nothing comes from this opportunity, but it's the interchanging of the RSL midfielders that really tests that New England defense. We talked to FC Dallas midfielder Andrew Jacobson about the importance of good team shape. I think if you start trying to follow players around, you're going to find everyone pulled out of shape, and then when we win the ball, we're not going to have anywhere to go. The third key to the game is to deny target link up. Alvaro Sabarillo for Real Salt Lake is a goal scorer but he's also known for his ability to bring other attackers into the final third. You'll see in this clip he does exactly that when he finds Fabian Espindola with a pass as the striker's making a darting run in behind that Revolution defense. Sabarillo is the player that brings other RSL attackers into the game, and on this play, it made the difference in the result of the match. We talked to FC Dallas defender George John about the importance of denying space for a target forward. Yeah, Saboro, you know, he's a very strong player, likes to hold the ball up. So Ugo and I are just going to have to try to uh, get stuck in with him as early as possible and not let him create from up top. FC Dallas leads the league with 10 victories on the season. Getting number 11 on Saturday night against Real Salt Lake at the Rio Tinto will certainly prove to be a difficult task. It is a game that you do not want to miss. The match kicks off at 8 p.m., and you can see that game on TXA 21 or for our Spanish listeners, you can tune in to 1270 AM La Voz del Pueblo with your host, Carlos Alvarado. These two teams will turn right around and face one another in the quarterfinal of Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup on Tuesday night right here at Pizza Hut Park. For FCDallas.com, I'm Bobby Ryan.